it's the English Simmer here and I know I'm late on this one, okay? I will say it, I was on holiday with my family. We were celebrating my mum's birthday, it was lovely. But of course, the Sims team said check and meet English Simmer because whenever I feel like I'm busy, whenever I feel as if I have stuff to do, the Sims team always decide to release a trailer or even a pack. They plot against me, okay? That's how I feel. But they released the Sims 4 Growing Together official gameplay trailer, which I feel like we haven't had a gameplay trailer since Cottage Living, which I can't believe that's almost been two years ago now. Makes me feel a bit sick, actually. And you know, one of my favorite videos to record is doing a trailer reaction. So that's what we're gonna do today, even though I am behind the curve by almost a week. We have Hopewell Hills. This is where the Michaelsons live. Okay, Grandpa. Oh no, there's like rubbish all over. The sink was broken. Grandfather is here to sort things out. It's a temporary. Temporarily, pem temporarily stay. Milestones, okay. Social compatibility. I'm obviously gonna watch this through and then we're gonna go over it, all of it together in like slow motion and talk about it. And I probably need to like listen a little bit more than I'm doing. So they have a family dynamic of close, these two, the husband and wife. So Celeste and I forgot what the dad's called. I do apologize. Okay, so they actually have the same interests. Really didn't Ryan listen to that. The then you have Orion, who is the new the infant, and the older kid is a little bit jealous family. about that. I didn't read the family dynamic that was going on between them, but I don't think that the older kid is very impressed that they have a new sibling, you know? Okay, Grandpa doesn't get on well with Christopher. They're not, like, compatible. He doesn't like, like, gardening, I'm assuming. They have bad compatibility. Oh, there's Celeste like being born. Old dude's fighting. Oh, he lost his job. Oh, he lost his wife too. Oh no. I love him. I will defend grandpa. I don't even care if he's not close to Christopher. Look, here we go. So he feels difficult about his sister because he doesn't particularly like her. She's got a stinky little nappy. She learned to roll over. She learned to eat food. These are milestones, I'm fairly sure. She like stood up for the first time. So they're like all of her milestones. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Can't relate. I'm the baby of a family. Sorry about it. Sorry that I stole all of your attention. But he gets on really really well with grandpa they like both like mischief grandpa taught him how to ride a, a bike he was there for him losing his tooth they experienced a fire together i'm really hoping that these milestones are like actually like part of like your sim like i hope in what i mean by that is i hope you can like look back at those milestones like who they were with and i hope it's not like sentiments where i mean they shouldn't fade over time because it's a milestone and like you should remember those things and like who you were with and hopefully it brings you like closer together honestly not gonna lie to you all i'm just a bit confused by this trailer like i feel like it doesn't really show the gameplay like it kind of showed like an element of the water parky place and like also like riding a bike and being in a tree house but it didn't really show the gameplay of the pack i mean i know obviously we're getting like family dynamics and compatibility and milestones but the thing is like are those restricted to the pack because i have to say i really actually want some of them to be based game I feel like those big systems when they are just limited to like one pack the sims can like never ever expand upon it even when it comes to like them being in base game alongside the pack it feels like they still get ignored for example sentiments we've never really got any new uh, life what are they called the ones that came with snowy escape because they were 
practically tied to like snowy escape lifestyles. And so it's just like, yeah, like it's cool that we're getting these things, especially like the milestone system, which seems like it could potentially be a memory system. But then again, if it's just tied to this pack, like it's really not a memory system that I know the Sims community has been wanting. And it just feels like so much gameplay was not spoken about. Like, I feel like this doesn't show off the pack. I will say Sans Sequoia looks to me like an extension of Willow Creek and more specifically Newcrest. I, it's giving me big Newcrest vibes. I know like it's probably close to the Sims Team Heart because they're based in like the Bay Area of San Francisco. It's close in my heart because obviously I've been there. Like I've been lucky enough and privileged enough to go to Redwood Studios and like I have a special tie to this place. Like seeing San Francisco is nice, but it's kind of like the suburbs. It's not really a city. I'm not seeing like any apartments from what I can see. I'm just seeing like blue suburban and houses. I'll hold my hands up and say I was incorrect about tree houses. I thought that this was a park area. It is not. The Michelsons just have a big feckin' lot, man. They say that we're gonna like look at these family dynamics using this temporary stay. So I'm assuming that grandparents can either like just come over like uninvited because they did technically say he was an uninvited guest. Be like, hey, we've decided to stay for a few days. I hope it's not just like one night. I hope like you can have multiple nights because I think that's quite cute. I hope it's not just grandparents. I hope it's like other like maybe friends and relatives because I also think that would be really cute. I kind of hope it's not just tied to like familial, but I get how that would also be annoying because you probably have like so many uninvited guests and we don't want Eliza Pancake staying in our households. Thank you very much. If there's anything that I see that I haven't noticed in like previous trailers, I uh, will talk about. For example, I forgot to point out this lovely Monstera. That's because me and my Monstera, we're on better terms now, but we did have beef for a while because she had nuts. So so I was kind of ignoring her and not giving her the attention that she deserves. This I always thought was a scar. Honestly, now I just think it's a birthmark, which they did give an update on that when it comes to like base game. So I will be going through that at the end of this video. <gasps> Wait, is this a new, like one of those standing lamps? Oh, I absolutely love the brush lamp that we have in base game. I use it literally all of the time. They have like all this stuff that like makes it seem like it's a city, but it's not actually a city. It's the suburbs of a city. Why are we getting another suburbs? Love his cardigan. Actually have always said I'm over the comfy cozy. It feels like we're doing that again and also leisure wear. Also like loads of fucking car keys. Not car keys that you drive. I, that's how I say car keys. It does say define one's life. I hope they can like reminisce on certain memories when you click on them. I hope that you can actually go into the UI and like like see those memories in either like a scrapbook, like The Sims 3. I can't really remember what The Sims 2 memories look like. I think I like The Sims 2 memories the most when it comes to memory systems, actually. Might have to go back and play with the memory systems for a video. I feel like that could be a uh, you know, just like reminisce my own memories. Uh, so these two don't get on well together. I like that the compatibility isn't only tied to romance. I like how you can actually have it within like the family dynamics. Kind of hoping again that crosses over to like friends. I'm sure it will because it seems to like have a lot of like focus in this gameplay trailer, even though they're just kind of talking about it like when it comes to family. You've obviously got some power walkers down here, which this makes me think that they're just gonna use the roots for jogging, which was actually one of my main concerns about this pack. Cause I was like, I hope that you can do this anywhere and it's not just tied to San Sequoia. Ooh, is this a new beard or have we got this beard already? I like this beard. Obviously I've mentioned a lot recently. I really want some more Afro textured body hair. And I do think we should still get that in body hair as well, but it's nice to see it when it comes to facial hair. I feel like they've started focusing on this a bit more. Love 
Celeste's earrings, we'll say. Her like outfit doesn't really stand out to me. So this is the wife family dynamic that Christopher has with her. So we have distant jokesters and close. They obviously have the close one. You also had difficult. So I'm wondering like if they've just kind of cropped this for the actual trailer and there's more of these because like obviously you see different ones like as this progresses. Probably choose these in Creator Sim. I mean, this looks like it either happens in Creator Sim or like whilst you're playing, you get like a pop-up that's like kind of saying like, hey, these are the relationships that are available to you right now. Do you want to pick one? I kind of hope that it also does it automatically. Um, I think you could kind of have the option to choose and then have it do it automatically. I would quite like it automatic based on how like Sims are interacting with each other and playing. Obviously you have the upright piano. Still hoping that we get those in some neutrals. These are likes and dislikes, which we obviously we already have in the game. We know that they're getting upgraded to 50 likes and dislikes. So I'm assuming they're adding like a few more categories and there's definitely ones that are like reminiscent of the hobbies, but they have different images than the hobbies ones. So I, unless hobbies are getting like a refresh in this, which I do want, I do want to have more hobby option available, especially to like kids and stuff. And I kind of want like swimming to be different than fitness, enjoying music or dancing or, and then this looks like maybe like painting or the arts or like they're both creative, but like creative is a trait. I know we already have painting. I can't remember the icon for the painting hobby. Then this looks like close knit. Maybe this is something like flirty because they're flirting in the hot tub. So maybe they both like flirting. Maybe that's like an activity, which I think is quite nice. Like interactions also being part of this like compatibility feature, I think would be pretty cool. Can I just say, I absolutely love this shirt dress that we have going on here. And I love Atlas's little top. I love this dresser and this bed, like with the curved headboard, mm, delicious. I like the build and buy mode. From what I'm seeing, it kind of like fits in, I feel with like eco lifestyle and dream home decorator when it comes to like the colors that we're getting. Also maybe a little bit of paranormal stuff, which you all know, I don't know my like architecture types or like interior types. So I'm not gonna try it. So we know that Mischief doesn't have this icon. So I'm not too sure about what this icon is. I also don't think we have this icon in likes and dislikes. We have this one, which is gardening. This one, I'm like, it could be pranksters. It could be like joking. But then I feel like jokesters is another one. This one looks like it could be like art lover. Like they like art or, I don't know, we don't have sculpting in the game. So I'm assuming it's something to do with like being an art lover. So they have bad compatibility because they don't have a lot of interests or likes and dislikes that overlap with each other. Ooh, stretch marks, as you can see. And also mole representation. I'm getting my moles. I feel like they're putting too much emphasis on the systems. It scares me. Cause I think when they do really big systems like this, then it's like, oh, like this could flop so hard. Like I don't feel the most confident when it comes to systems in The Sims 4. Obviously we kind of already have it in the game where if you have an older sibling, they can like get angry when they have a new sibling. It's just like a little moodlet that pops up for like two days. They can get a little bit of jealousy going around them. I got distracted here and forgot to say it, but I hope that for example, that difficult family dynamic actually has an effect on like how quickly or not quickly you can actually build up a relationship with people. Because if you have like a difficult thing, then I expect it as a player to actually have to like put in work and like kind of get rejected when it comes to doing like friendly interactions. Although you can see the older sibling actually doing like friendly interactions later in the trailer. So maybe that's not the case. I think I basically like them to automatically be a bit more rude or a bit more mean if they were feeling a certain type of way about a certain sim. I'm assuming this is a toy box. Honestly, I would have loved to see it come back as a costume box, but alas, I don't think that's going to happen. I still think this is just an 
animation when kids like learn to ride their bike. I think this is just a celebration. I don't actually think that you'll be able to like on demand click on a sim and be able to pick up your child. I'm fairly sure this is the one for like enjoys being a jokester. Obviously we have jokesters in the family dynamics. I'm interested to see what other family dynamics uh, you can have. This is like the mischief or pranking one that I think we already have in the game. And then again, this one, I can't tell what this is. If you know what this Jack in the Box is, let me know. Cause it's like pranks, but then I'm also like, but surely that's under like either jokesters or <laughs> being able to do mischief together. I have no idea. I think it's well cute. I love this interaction, the way that kids can like lean down and like kiss their infant siblings. Like I just think that's so cute. He's also playing peekaboo with her, which I think is super adorable. I'm fairly sure kids didn't have that when it came to like toddlers and stuff. So it's nice to see more interactions like that, which is kind of what I wanted to see from a game to play trailer. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to learn more about the treehouse. I wanted to learn more about like learning to ride a bike. I think there was so much that they could have done with an official gameplay trailer. And this one kind of hit the mark for me. I mean, it leaves a little bit of mystery, I guess, which I'm excited to find out what else is in this pack. And then the Sims official account said, not only does the Sims 4 growing together come with new creator sim items, which they've kind of given us a look at, birthmarks, stretch marks, and cesarean scars will be coming to the Sims 4 base game on March the 14th. We've already had confirmation that these work with tattoos, because I think the medical wearables don't actually work with tattoos, which I didn't test out, but that's very, very annoying. This infant has like a little birthmark on their head. Again, the quality isn't the best. Every like creator sim asset here is gonna come probably with growing together. I don't really think they're showing off any of the like base game stuff, but as you can see, this one has like a little birthmark on their arm. This one had a little birthmark on their face, a little leg one, a little arm one. And this is like for all age groups as well, which is really nice. This kid has some like freckles or if you like have elders or like adults, you could probably get away with using these as like sunspots as well. Although uh, I can't tell cause this like technically, these aren't technically tagged as base game. So maybe it's just like the birthmark. Maybe they're actually tied to growing together. These are the stretch marks. I'm really, really hoping, obviously we've seen that stretch marks are available on both frames. I'm also hoping that cesarean scars are available on both frames. Yeah, I like Create a Sim, but it does feel similar to so much stuff that we've had recently, which I know I'm gonna use it. And I know I like the look of it. Like there are some assets like these shorts right here that I feel like have definitely been missing within the game, but it just feels a bit too similar. But then again, I use those basics like quite frequently. So I don't really know. <gasps> a little cow plan. And then really quickly, I wanna go over this bit of information because I feel like this has been floating around the Sims community for a while. Jovan actually stated that I think he talked about it in like January and it's the sleepover sleepwear, but it's actually only available if you are a subscription member of EA Play and if you're a subscription member of EA Play on console. I'm not a fan of this. I've always said, I really hope the Sims doesn't become like a subscription based thing because I personally want to buy a pack and know that I own that pack and no matter like what comes up I still like own that pack like I've spent money when I've been able to like spend money obviously I know I get my packs for free right now but like in the past and like probably in the future I want to like put my money down and say like hey I own this specific pack because this is of interest to me I know subscription models will work for other players especially those people who like dip in and out of the sims but then I feel like if the future of the game is going to last like 10 plus years like The Sims 4, that's gonna be so much money. And then all of that when support is like over for it, the game's just gonna go boop and disappear and you're not gonna own it and it's not gonna be in your library. And it's basically like you're renting a video game. I do not want it. I feel like this is a test towards that. But there we go. There's all of the Sims 4 news that I personally missed and that you maybe missed as well. Let me know how you feel about this. Honestly, not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed in that gameplay trailer. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I will be covering all of Growing Together, the infants update when it all comes out. I'll be making videos on it. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you wanna be warned about any of those videos. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.